Hey, fifth graders, Mr. Dallas here. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Today we're gonna look at 6.4 in our textbook. 6.4 on multiplying fractions using the GCS. Greatest common factor. Yesterday we talked about it in our Google Meet lesson and we provided some examples, but I'm gonna provide you with some more whiteboard work to make sure you guys are all familiar with it moving forward. So the first thing first is you're gonna look for the fractions, okay? So what you're gonna do is divide any numerator and denominator by their GCF. So the example they gave me on page 204, all right, is, let's follow along, 20 over 21 times seven-eighths. Okay, so first things first, I could just multiply it all out, 20 times seven, 21 times eight. But they, they say we could do something easier. So what they're saying is to find the greatest common factor, okay? So right here, we go, let's follow along with me on page 204. So we take the seven and the 21, right? Seven goes into seven, seven times, which is, so that becomes a one, okay? Now, seven goes into 21 three times, right? So it becomes a three. Seven times three is 21. Seven goes into seven one time, okay? Next thing we can do is we could take the eight and the 20, right? What we can do here is, you know, four. Four is the greatest common factor that they share together. So four goes into eight, that become a two. Four goes into 20, that becomes a five, okay? Next, what we do is we multiply five times one, becomes five, okay? Three times two, which becomes six. So it's super simple if we do it that way, okay? A lot less multiplying, right? Now we're just using a skill that we have learned. All right, so five, six is in simplest form, so we're gonna leave it as is, right? The answer the book has five, six, okay? Go ahead and erase that. Feel free to rewind and check out some problems on your own. So go ahead, we're gonna look at number three, okay? So on page 205, okay, number three. All right, number three says one half times two thirds. So right here, since it's super simple, we probably can, we can just multiply it out. One times two, two times three, which equals two over six. Now, if it's two six, we all know that has to be one third, okay? Good, so that's the super simple one. So when you multiply using the GCF, we're on page 205 right now. I'll probably do another example. We're gonna go with number 10, okay? 10 on page 205. It says multiply using the GCF, so it would be two thirds times three thirteenths. So what we can do here is we can take the GCF, the ones will cancel out, bam, bam, three, so it'll be one, one. So that becomes two over one times one over 13, which equals two times one is two over one times 13, 13. Two thirteenths is in simplest form. So there you have it for number 10 on page 205. Lastly, I'm gonna leave you with one more example to try to get you guys going with 6.4. We're gonna take a look at number 29. 29. It reads 36 times 7 eighths. First things first, we recognize back to 6.3, 36 is a whole number, 7 eighths is the fraction. So you take the whole number, 
put the denominator as one, and now we're ready to go. Next, what we can do is find the GCF, because 36 times seven, it's a rather large number. So what we're gonna take out is, find the GCF, we're gonna say two, right? Because 36 and eight share GCF of two, that becomes a four, that becomes an 18. Now, 18 and four, we can go even further, take another two out, comes a nine. So, mental math, nine times seven, we go 63 over two. Now, we need to simplify. So equals, so just follow along. All right, so two goes into 63. Three times six, zero, bring down the three, one, and your one. The answer for this one would be 31 and one half. Everyone follow along? So there you have it. It's just a little overview, a little tutorial at 6.4. I hope this guys, hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and keep up all the hard work during this distance learning. I know times are tough and really proud of you guys and you know, we're going to get through it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.